daybreak and uh, welcome to this segment on Tuesdays. You know how we do it on Tuesday. We like to talk about um, you know matters that are affecting society. Today we have uh, uh, another interesting topic. We're gonna try to break it down uh, for the benefit of Shata. <laughs> <laughs> you better. <laughs> uh, but before I tell you about what the topic is, we have uh, Nunsinzi joining us on uh, Skype together with DNG. Mukosa, Wanatupata. John, you can miss someone. Ah, Kabisa, there they are. Yes, yes, yes. And since you are representing the county, Aliskia Machako is in a fungua. Akasama wacha wai kalas. Nduli la. Nile salidi kwa Nairobi nini. And we also uh, have with us here uh, Shata Boy. Ule mudi angara. Yeah man. You better know. And CJ uh, Atema. How you doing? I'm doing very well. I know we were mukasawa, but uh, this weekend it's about to go back. <laughs> To factory settings. <laughs> but <laughs> courtesy of yes. Uh, <laughs> we shall see. And anyway, so today uh, we are talking about it's well the friendship code. Friends, everybody says we want to be friends, let's be friends. But what are some of the do's and don'ts therein? Kunawale, for example, we can of course one of the common ones, the normal rule in your joy is don't date my friend should not date my ex. Or vice versa. My ex should not date my friend. Either way. That's one that Kilamutu wana jifanya wana jua. Number two is about secrets as well. Uh, unambia shata kitu leo, unasikia kwa CJ. Unambia nonsisi kitu, unasikia kwa DNG. What is the basic... Uh, and, and yet they say it is the basic thing, the basic unit of a relationship is being a friend. They say, oh, we are just friends. And then nine months later. But it is well. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it all starts. So I guess we're going to start uh, there. Shata sasa ukusawa? Eh, niko sawa. Ukorie. Sasa nikorie. Wagwa. Basi tuanzishie. Allah. 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 Tuanzishie hapo kwa mamba ya maubeshte. What do you think is is ailing friends? Because I know there's a lot of, uh, with the social media age, of course, there are a lot of fake friends. Yeah, ma. So, so what do you think? Why, why is it hard to find true, genuine friends? Well, Number one, I think people don't know what friendship is. Mm. It needs to be defined and redefined again. Mm -hmm. Because this is what we may say, my friend should know not to date your ex. People don't know that, you see? And when I have a what is friendship? Mm -hmm. Do, because that means if I can't date your ex, it means I have to put you above mm -hmm. me. It matters, say, if I am interested in your ex and I choose not to date her, it is because I'm putting you above me. Mm -hmm. I'm choosing to have you over your, your interest over mine. Okay. So I don't think we have that. I don't think we have people that can sacrifice their interest for th for their friends. Mm. Yeah. We have a lot of um, fake friends. Uh, in uh, the, the girl code, I think is where that you yeah, are dating your ex, it is, is, is strongest. But yeah. generally, these days, even when I go online, uh, I. Aita kosa nikipitia kwa Insta stories, especially people like complaining, oh, so gee, you know, the subliminals, if you don't know yourself yeah. first, you can't be somebody's friend, nini nini, self-love, etc. What, what do you, what do you, why do you think it is hard to find, again, like I asked Shata, true friends, wale yani ride, ride or, well, I don't like the element of ride or die, but ride or ride. Um, it's because we are flawed in many ways. We are not perfect. I mean, it's just like the way you cannot get a perfect partner. How do you expect you'll get a perfect friend? You know, friendship comes with a lot of patience. I need to understand you. You need to understand me. Actually, friendship is more like a relationship. It's not just not your sleep. You're just not sleeping together, if I may say, because uh, if, especially if you've been friends for a long time, the person you are, maybe even in high school, is not the same person. Now I've changed, I've changed a lot of my views. So it is, there's no perfection. We are all flawed in one way or another. So it's you to understand the other person and figure out, can I live with this 80% that is working and not live with this 20% that is not working? Of course, there are extremes. Kuna one that are in your mother, like you said, the secret, those who never keep quiet. <laughs> So, 
you it's you to decide if this is your friend are you gaining more are they gaining from you as well because we just think it's a matter of just um you gaining from the other person but also are you building the other person so uh -huh. and i think they're friends for different things yeah as i think we'll get into that but we <laughs> are offload no one is perfect but we need well, okay, because i'm too just say i i wronged you in this way i am sorry just like a relationship even yet too you're not doing the deed hey <laughs> those are platonic friends okay uh cj before i go to dng friendship they say is the bedrock of every relationship uh but uh yesterday i was also looking at uh, my friend Karwiro's uh stories and she said she was talking about being flawed and uh, how we should accept people when they're flawed and nonsense has mentioned it so how because definitely they cannot be perfect people but yet in this imperfection it seems like nowadays the flaws become like an excuse <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's something that Shata talked about, which is very key. Mm. Um, if I am going to put your interests before mine, you should be willing to do the same. Uh, sometimes we want to get into very deep friendships with people who want to be on the shallow end. Mm. And that's why we begin then to magnify all their flaws, begin to look very magnified because how they view that friendship is not the same as how you view it. You're looking at it from a point of, I'm loyal to this person. They are thinking, but this is just friendship. Then you begin to wonder why they seem to have betrayed you. Um, you're thinking, this is the only person that I can share things with. They think they have five people they can share things with. So you have to define uh, those friendships, like who plays what role? in your life. I like what uh, Nonsense said that, you know, uh, there are different friends for different things, but also different levels. Not everybody can be in your inner circle. If you expect inner circle loyalty from outer circle people, you'll be frustrated. Which brings the other thing, Will, is that I think in most of our friendships, expectations are not clear. Mm. They're just totally not clear. We, we feel that because we hang out, we know what we are supposed to do. Um, there's a thing that goes around as well. Maybe I just need to mention that, you know, uh, people say, you know, uh, to inherit somebody's enemies is the highest form of stupidity. Mm. You see that casual look at friendship. Then on the other hand, you turn and you say, you cannot date my ex. But why should I not date your ex if I'm not supposed to inherit your enemies? So what's the code over there? You see, th there's a lot of things that need to be clearly defined mm -hmm. yeah clearly defined uh dng there it's also say that you can't if you stand up and say i have 10 friends well i guess jesus said the bar 12 but even with the 12 <laughs> there were three close ones <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> but you can never really say you have like a lot of friends many people like cj has said kind of mistake acquaintances colleagues as friends what, what, what would you say about that it's absolutely true i feel like if you have any group of people who you consider your friends out of those majority would be snitches my haters while primary school man the guys would always look at you and tell on you to the teacher Chacha, this guy has been making noise. Chacha, this guy has stolen my rabbit. Chacha, you remember those guys? Yeah, yeah. Those are the haters today on social media, man. So you think about those <laughs> peeps and say, Atiyani Mabeshtuangu, we, we, we come from way back. You know, <laughs> they're my boys from, from day one. But those are the guys who are snitching on you from day one, man. So what do you expect today? Today now it's now snitching on you on social media. Those are the people who infiltrate your inner circle and, and sell out all your 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 secrets. Mm. If I may uh, make reference to the scenario of Prince Harry and the wife, you saw that interview, Senor? Yes. There is this uh, complaint that they had that the father of uh, that lady, uh, Harry's wife, was actually uh, the one who was revealing all her secrets to the tabloids in the United Kingdom. And that's not even your friend, that's your parent, that's your dad, man, who should have your back, bro. But yeah, people are out here unfaithful. Uh, allow me to just make reference to the Bible. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. So many verse, first Corinthians 13. Hallelujah. Yes. Love is patient, love is kind, 
It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not rude. It is not self-seeking, not easily angered, and it keeps no record of wrong. So what is happening is that there is no love in friendship. Absolutely not. You don't love your person, your friend, your boy. And that's why you're able to like flip on them in an instant. Mm. Well, actually, uh, well, that's there are different levels of that. Is it of another thing, Shata? Uh, even as picking off from what DNG has said, that they are snitches, so they are fake. They are telling on your business, but there is also another element of fake support. Where what on another? When you are best, you are competing. Of course, yes, <laughs> it happens a lot because people have their interest at heart. Mm -hmm. People, for for you to keep a friend. Lazima asha evaluate and a benefit nini na wewe. Na pia asha evaluate what benefits am I getting from this friendship. Because I don't think there's any friendship that is not beneficial to anyone. And if you have any of that, people will call it stupidity. Uh -huh. So lazima kuna angle ya benefit from it. Unaelewa? And once you understand that, and you acknowledge that, enye ube stengwa kuna mie because of ABCD, you need to be sure that the day this ABCD will not be there, this friend won't be there because they're no longer gaining what they were gaining from you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, I don't think people that pretend that that does not exist are true to themselves. A friendship... To the competition element. Or to the co you see, because when... when uyu mtu anabakiaga mazuri, mm. barataki mazuri ikufiki mingi kumliko. Mm -hmm. That is where the competition comes from. Unaelewa? They don't want... They wataki wakienda paali, ni wewe unaongea. Sana. Like, ni wewe, we, ni wili, so, you know. The, everyone wants to be successful than the other. So, if, because I'm your friend, that does not make me not want to be successful. Get. So, they will compete you. They will go to areas and feel, I, I should do this better than Willis. And he's your friend. Mm -hmm. And they will start competing. Mm -hmm. And you need to be okay with that. Mm -hmm. Everyone wants to compete. Mm -hmm. Everyone wants to win. That is the point. Mm -hmm. But if, if CJ MSM are levels, Kuna mtu who expect to compete. Kuna elewa, like you feel this is my best friend, you know. In case kuna ngori na faniambie. But kama mko, sema, for example, mko in the same line of duty. And then there is a, a post that both of you want. Do you expect this friend to, to, to now relinquish their interest for you? They will compute you for it. Mm -hmm. So what matters is the level of friendship. Do you want this, do you believe this person got you more than they got themselves mm -hmm. to an extent that they can sacrifice a competition for you. Mm -hmm. yeah, and, and so s when you talk about level CJ, maybe you can expand on that because um, <laughs> they are, you know, when you said inner circle, outer circle, so how do I, who I, do, how do I know this? Because sometimes <laughs> the lines get blurred because I'll go and tell sh Shata deep, I'll go and tell you deep, I'll tell DNG deep, nonsense is deep, and then, so how do I know? Okay, we know in a circle. We know our outer circle. See, um, you, you shouldn't tell people deep who have not told you deep as well. Mm. It, that has got to be an exchange. You know, uh, trust is earned over time. And uh, you shouldn't trust people that are not tested. That means you can't meet somebody today and begin to go into the deep waters with them. You've got to test them. You will always see this, you know, the red flags. You'll always see them. Just little things like you're talking about, oh man, I'm thinking of moving houses or doing something. Then you hear that thing going round. And you know, you only told it to one person. You don't cut off the friendship, but then you now know this person cannot handle information. You know, they reveal themselves to you with time. Uh, because again, when you have sensitive matters, you don't generally tell it to too many people. Right. So you will know this is between the three of us. If it gets out, it's very easy to find out. Like, guys, it's only the two of you that I told this thing. How come it is out over there? That's one of the things about building friendships, Willis. Confrontation is a very necessary ingredient mm. to building solid friendships. People fear that. Yep. Then eventually they get broken, they get hurt, they get bitter. And then they will go on social media and start posting about, you the know, <laughs> the, the, uh, <laughs> those kind of people. <laughs> but in, in proper relationships and friendships, you should be able to sit down and say, Willis, how come I told you this and now I hear it out over there? 
so that if this person can learn and grow, then maybe you keep them along. If they cannot learn, you get to know that is just who they are. Um, and it will then generally affect who they become in your life. Mm. So nobody should come into the deep who has not been tested. There's got to be security checks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Roadblock. Kila buta pitie. Roadblock. Nakuna kubribe officer. Unaendo kenanga. Speaking about information, uh, no, since the other thing, uh, people always talk about, especially when it comes to relationship advice. Uh, several times when we've talked about relationships here, there's always come up the aspect of friends. I know it is, I don't say mostly, but most of the stories out there at least are about, you'll hear say, oh, udem, alienda, aka, my friends, what can you do? You know, but I know even for the male, CC or my boy, or other CC, my friends with Tudanganya. But you'll find many times you read about it a lot situations where non CC you break up with Shata and then you go and start t getting advice from your friends and they tell you, ah, Chara na Shata, Shata ni mbaya. Three months later, one of your friends, Munyalakono Gwambia ni mbaya, no ame cozy up na Shata, boy, you le mudi angara. What would you like to say about, uh, you know, you're stabbing in the back? Mm. I mean, it happens. I just say, starting at the ages of Jesus, you know, even with peace, you can. You're well, feeling very preachy and today. <laughs> Leo mumekula kitabu. So go through that so that you can learn because if there's no backstabbing, you wouldn't be able to know what kind of a person this is is and sometimes i appreciate when such things happen especially in the early stages so that you can know a this is the person that i am dealing with it doesn't feel nice it's really really painful uh, because i mean i mean surely it's bad but also by the time you're going to seek advice why are you seeking advice from this person that's the first question why have they been in a situation that you are in and especially if you guys are a couple are these people going through what you guys have gone through because one thing i've realized with the relationship let me tell you let me tell you they are all different like my problem you might give me my problem and yours could be the same but your solution will not work for me so even to an extent i'm now hesitant actually i've learned that it's only you who understands your situation and it's only you who can help yourself sometimes you ask for it so that you can get a third opinion not really apply it but just know hey what am i going to do here because whatever is ailing me could was could have been ailing you but my solution and your solution will not work in this situation so what am i saying there's something really that you said when we were starting. Know yourself. And I've always been saying this. Know yourself and know. It could be a, a shatter if you are dating, quote, unquote. We are having this kind <laughs> of a problem. Uh, and I go to someone who have gone through the same. They're like, watch a shatter. And I'm like, me is like, watch a shatter. But no, 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 watch a shatter, you have pressure. So know yourself and what you want. Then just listen before you apply i can say that just listen and understand the motive of this person but in the early stages of your life before you discover speaking from experience uh Uzijali, after this we are holding a, a short prayer <laughs> we'll have an altar call <laughs> DNG, the other thing, C just mentioned here something about confrontation, and there's something that people avoid. Uh, before you talk about that element of confrontation, whereby check DNG, I only told you how come mm. to call to five people, everybody and their nephew is talking about it. So <laughs> what, what happened? Um, so but there's also the, the element of giving an honest opinion. Um, I feel like sometimes people are surrounded by people who are not able to yes. tell them. There are a lot of yes men, yes, yes men and yes women around them. So how important is honesty, even at the risk of, you know, losing the friendship sometimes? Let's say there are several examples. Let's say uh, you have a problem and I'm trying to have an intervention. That's one. Or number two, 
I know for a fact that any jana mazen iliona demo ako namse mungine. But and, and I know you're normally very cagey around who you dem. So I, I know if I tell you, you'll be so pissed at me. It is easy. So how important is honesty, and how does somebody wade through the waters in those different examples I've given? Honesty is absolutely critical. If your friend, uh, the person who's you know your right hand or your left hand or in your inner circle cannot be, you know, real as we call it with you, that means that that's not your friend. You know, because a friend should have your best interests at heart at all times, and that's where the selflessness issue or element comes in. So what we have today is people who do not really care about you. You know, those are just people who are hanging around you because they can benefit in one way or another. And and I like what somebody said earlier, that you should know what type of people are around you. You know, who are your friends, who are your acquaintances, and who, who's in your inner circle and who's not. And just look at it this way. Inner circle are, are, your, are your diehards. These are your guys who, or, or ladies who have your back, you know, absolutely. You know, uh, through anything, thick and thin, they will be with you. Uh, and, and for me, I came to realize this, you know, like when you have a, a difficult time in your, in your life, for example, ukiwa na msiba, umefiwa, who are those people who will come and umboleza with you? Who are those people who will who will come for that uh, chat service? Who are those people who will go to that graveyard and, and, and throw the soil into into that grave? Those are your those are your boys. You know, the, the wisdom was there earlier. A friend in need, when you're in need, is that friend indeed? Is indeed your path? You know who can stand by you so today we we uh, enshrine ourselves with people who don't have our back and you can a challenge at okinda or see a kuna msana come kuona you know lakini sasile kuna katamaji eh 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 meza imeja sasile kuna form ya weekend eh eh niaje niaje simu yako ina lay off the hook sasile tuko na concert kila mtu anakuja complimentary you know so it's good to just separate and say these are guys who i come you with but these are guys who, uh, when we're going out of town, to Nendanga now, but ujue kukiumana, au zima vishitua. The other thing that is heard, uh, it's also very tricky, honestly, <laughs> to be a friend, CJ, sometimes, because uh, people take it too far. The friend in need. Yeah. There are some who are constantly, <laughs> <laughs> constantly in need. And akufaya kwa dhiki ndiye rafiki. Kuna wenye wako kwa dhiki constantly. So how do you... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> how do you also draw the line? You see, that's, that's where now the element of honesty okay. comes in. Um, because somehow, when you are under pressure, you're going to have to release this pressure somewhere. So if, if Shatter is always in need and I don't tell him, eventually I'll tell you yeah. and then it will go around. So I would rather than just face him and say, look, Shatter, now we need to find a way for you to be on your feet. That's where you talked about maybe you might risk losing the person at that particular point, but then you will say, listen, you need to do something with your life. Look at the options. I want to support you, but I want something that is sustainable. What can we do? you have to be honest with the person so that you're not helping while complaining on the other hand, or you get to the place where you start avoiding phone calls, you are uh, now lying to the person, you know, you're not texting and you'll say, I didn't see your text or something. You just need to have a proper conversation with that guy. Any relationship that cannot stand the truth is not true. Any relationship that falls because truth was brought in, it was going to fall somewhere along the line. Confrontation is not necessarily, um, it's not necessarily, you know, violent yeah. or it is not necessarily negative. It's just that we have an issue that we need to deal with and let's not go around it. Let's just talk about it. This is the issue and it's going to affect us. I can't be giving you money every day or I can't be getting you jobs every day or I can't be bailing you out every day. You go mess up, you get jailed, uh, then I come and get you out of the cell every night. Um, so you just tell the person the truth. One day you'll go into that cell, I'm not coming. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you have to make up your mind. Mm -hmm. You're just trying to bring this person to the place where they see themselves in the mirror and they make the decisions mm -hmm. that they need to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. And, and uh, still on, on that point, you know, you're talking about um, speaking the truth and if it doesn't stand, if it's not, what do you say? If, if, if it, it cannot if it stand, stand the, truth, the truth, it's not true. It's not true. Yes. Okay, but then there are those people who always come uh, in conversation, shut and say, Usini judge. 
So how do you also balance? Yes. So na kujua mama shata ABC and and you can unajua nje ni pata sasa jamaa wanzo kwa na but unakuwa mama zoeo si ni judge. This is my truth. Before tujibu yao kuna pia kitu watu wanafanya eh, that tuna monetize friendship mm. friendship has become a monetary it depends with kama uko na do juu you might say you are my friends ndio you might be in need of, of say money mm. do or, do. Or, or a position of power si ndio yes. useme tu wewe unataka do kwa saa hii mm. i am your true friend but sina hiyo do unaona the help you want from me i can't afford You see, that does not make me not your friend. That's right. I just can't afford what <laughs> what you want at that moment. Yeah. But say if you wanted me to take you somewhere, I'm available for you. Mm-hmm. We will go. Mm-hmm. Una get? Mm. Hasa kuna watu wao understand hiyo. You want me to be your friend in the in the in the need you have and probably I cannot afford that need. Unaelewa? Then there's a friend of yours somewhere that can afford that need. Maybe I can't afford it. So when they give you that money so but this is the truth. this is my ndo rafiki yangu huyu mwingine huyu hata huyu hata kama mingi through nikini need una get but they can come through in different ways say kama vile mtu amesema ni msiba they they will be with you they will walk with you you want kutumana hapa ku nitume una get nifanyie hizi you need to know those things alafu kuja kwa pale unasema mtu anasema usini judge ni iko tu hivyo if you have a friend if, if today i am your friend and we met nikiwa bare feet in say 2 3 months i should be wearing at least uh, slippers unaona another one year i should start wearing shoes that is a meaningful friendship unaelewa if i am your friend and my status does not change mm. and you are skips on changing then that is not friendship mm. one of us is is feeding from the other and most probably it is you you that are, is well of the leech that, yes that is feeding from me <laughs> when you see na kitu mm. you, you are supposed to be able to move me from point a to point b that is the whole concept of friendship unaelewa or at least eh hata by kukuona i should yes. aspire to move exactly like so if niko na wewe na every day nakuleta anga shida zangu nakuleta anga shida zangu it means you give me fish you've never given me a way to, to know how to fish mm. na get na kukujia go na niambia shika people need to see friendship from that angle understand in this friendship of ours this is what i bring on the table this person this is what they bring if i want them to stop nagging me about their needs i need to make this and this happen for them unaelewa and once you make it happen for them and they go and now they ruin it usiogope kumwambia kweli unamwambia mjamaa cheki ndo to move forward lazima pia uko serious na his side na mimi niko serious na his side unaelewa friendship ya kujiangana hizo zingine ni za kupimana. Hizo za dunda. Kula sherehe nini hiyo ni kupimana hakuna kujiangana hapo. Yeah man. You, you know nonsense said something at the very beginning mm-hmm. which Shata is alluding to even now because she said nobody is perfect we are all flawed. We are all flawed yes. If I am flawed if I am honest that I am flawed then I cannot insist this is who I am. Mm. Because my understanding of myself being flawed means that i have not attained a certain level or standard in growth so the being grow. flawed is not an excuse no okay. it just means that you acknowledge there's work to do okay. it's just like me saying i'm not fit so i need to start working out mm-hmm. it's just me knowing that okay uh, i've not read well so i need to take some time and study being flawed is just an admission of the fact that you have not hit the place you want to hit it is not a disability in a sense that i cannot become uh we are all improving well it's if in fact the reason we have these talks mm. is so that we can learn and grow and improve so somebody telling you this is who i am and just let it be like that that's very manipulative mm. that's very manipulative mm. uh and and it's difficult to work with somebody like that mm-hmm. yeah all right since everybody is uh, quoting the scripture <laughs> emos i have it but i said two cannot work together unless they agree mm-hmm. so dng um ha, it's something that's very painful i know over over the period of time as you you've had to let go of some friends right so how did it happen did you did you just ghost did you have a conversation and they refused to change and therefore kasama enye 
So, watch it. Uh, from today's English tender, don't talk to me, don't call me, lose my number, peace out. How do you let go <laughs> of a friend? Well, for me, I'm not, I'm not very confrontational. I don't like that. Eh? I like my peace banner. So I wouldn't <laughs> now start lecturing me at you that day. No, sometimes, you know, you just get emancipated. You come to the realization that any um say alinichome a fuse. So you just pull back and, and you exit. For me, that's how I, I, I handle it. And <laughs> once I realize that uh, yeah, somebody in my circle is against me or somebody in my circle is a hater or kick ananikula, you know, kikulacho kingu oni mwako, unaondokea manze. Let me give you, I like that point of uh, about Jayan. It's so important. You know, you, you can have friends eh, who are in positions to help, who are in positions to uh, enable you to grow, but they are the ones who will shoot you down the first. You know, <laughs> that Mr. is in a position where I'm in a situation where I'm in a marketing manager, and I'm in a job. Willis is a MCM deadly. Eh, Shata is a MCM deadly. No, that person will look at this opportunity and say, ah, this person, in fact, I know a story about him or her. This person, in <laughs> fact, does this, this, and this, this. And let us have it to the closet, banners in a bunda. No, I don't know if you are a person. I don't know if you are a person. I don't know if you are a person. I don't know Anyway, we do any attacking and delay, and you know, to a caribou, your friend knows your financial situation, knows what you're dealing with, knows your battles, man. This should be the first person to say, Yani, the NG, she can be, she can be, kuna kakazi yapa, apply for this. There's a consultancy here, there's a tender here, you know, but that is the one saying, a pana, usipe, uyu. Imagine. Those are bad, bad friends. So keep on to come over. I couldn't have a Kalisha, eh, Jinny at Mongame, no, game. No, game. No, game. <laughs> you will really realize their character on the care kabisa. That is a mistake we do. Yes. When people show you who they are, trust them. You see, that is what we do. We, we keep f hope and faith that they will change. But once I show you who I am from the first time, you believe me. That is who I am. I will never change. Una get? So you will enjoy me. Kaba wu mtu lisha kuchomea mara ya kwanza, hata wai change. That is the... Ataendelea tena na te. Okay. Sawe kubali tu huyu mtu wako hivi na uishi na hiyo. Mm -hmm. Ujua kama utamtoka sakoli yako, ama utamkipi. Unaelewa, mm -hmm. ukimkipi ujua what you keep. Usha have way pros na cons, huyu ananiharibia anga kazi, ni kwa sababu willing kuharibiwa anga kazi. <laughs> Namkipi. Kama mimi sika willing kuharibiwa kazi, unamuondokea. Unaona eh? Yeah. Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, no since you seem to to agree uh, one of the other uh, shatter philosophies is that do not be afraid to cut people off because they know what they've yes. done. Yes, <laughs> trust me. Yes. No. <laughs> what do you think about that, Nansinzi? So uh, I wanted to back up uh, CJ's um, to, uh, point on confrontational. I would call it communication. Ah. As a communication expert, communication is key in everything. Because you see, I need to ask because we see once you say confrontation, people are like in a kanga vita. Yes, was that girl. Well, well, you know, but <laughs> sit down and ask. Let it be a let it be a conversation. Hey, DNG, wait, I told you this. Why am I hearing it to this other person? What do you have to say? Is it the truth? Did, this is the truth. Did you say or not? Then they said yes or no. Why did you do that? Do you understand that it has bleached our trust? Do you understand? And if by the time you're cutting them off, because it's a right to cut people off, but I like telling people why I've cut you off. You are my friend, you're good, but you're sinking my ship. You cannot be leaking this info, and I don't think this is what I need. We are not enemies. you just not in my circle, and it's cool. We are friends. We are not friends, but hey, Hallelujah. 
as a right of reply. Let yes. me ask. Now, when you when you find out that or you confront this person and you ask them, and yeah, do you do this and this and that? And yeah. they say yes or no. Ina kusaidi aje. No, no, for me, I, I, I need to, I, that's why it's communication. You get what I'm saying? Communication, it doesn't, need, it doesn't mean it's helping me in one way or another. I need to ask you so that you can know that I know. Because I just don't want to cut you off. I think I think no, 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 no. I don't want to leave you in that kind of a situation. Honey, I'm going to tell you what you did. You wronged me and we are done. And it's because of this. The easier I'd say the same. Do, um, <laughs> We, we, we seem to be split. Yes. And I'm with non Sisi on that. Though it depends on who. Whatever DNG is saying, if this is not somebody who is very close to you, you can just let them go. You know. Okay. But if you're talking about people who are really in, uh, we've probably lived together in the same house. You know, we've hung out over so many years. We've been going to different places. Well, it's, I shouldn't just disappear on you. I should tell you. Because probably nobody has ever done that. And that might also help you. So even as we go, well, it might be your character, but at least you know that somebody knows that that's your character. Mm. So that when you're dealing now with shutter, that thing is in your mind, what I told you. So I'll, what if two things? What if one? What if they deny? And you uh, know that you know that you know. Like I only told <laughs> CJ <laughs> this yes. is like, information. Even if they deny, yes. you see the fact that you have mentioned it. When this guy yeah. goes to sleep, he knows and he knows that you know. <laughs> so you have left them to their conscience. Yes. They may deny it to you, but you've left them to their conscience. And you see, any time you point out something somebody has done, you will realize if they've got to do it again, they will either try to be smart at it or yeah. they will for a period not do it because that communication is effective, I tell you. Anybody who steals without anybody knowing, the day you say, look, I left my money over there and I think it is you, even if they deny it, Willis, there's something that you will have just done to that person. And you can tell them, well, I don't want the money back, uh, but I know it is you. And then you leave. There's something you have done to that person. They will be tormented by their own conscience yeah. over what you've communicated. All right. Thank you, too. Yeah. Well, I don't mean to DNG. Well, I philosophy. Yes. When you cut people off, you just cut them off. They know what they did to deserve it. Unona. Mm. Let me tell you, when you tell me something about you, na niende kuambia CJ, I know ita kufikia juna juu, hakuna siri ya watu wa wili ya mwati. Hakufeli hakuna siri ya watu wa wili. Watu wa sema kati siri ya watu wa wili, siri ni ya mtu mmoja. The moment you tell someone else, it is no longer a secret. Una get? So, sa hile ni miambia mtu mungine, I know ita kufikia, na hivile ita kufikia, nisha aji prepare vile ita ikaunta. Una get? When you come to tell me, eh, shata ni likuambia hii, na ulienda kuambia ana. Of course, nisha ajue uliambiwa. So when you're what you're telling me is not news, I already know that I said it. So I know I will counter you. But I, 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 I know I will counter sometimes. you that information. Therefore, <laughs> I don't believe in giving people ammunition to attack me day in, day out. I, I am telling you, Nikki Phil, where women don't go into Kunyanika, my stories, Angu, bro. Block. Where Ambiwa na watu wengi ne shada liku ondoke ya Julie story ya kia liku Ambiya ulikamu kutu Ambiya. Na ni mezidi. Now, you know, my friend. Let me Let prepare up. the way for non sizi <laughs> which is uh, again generally one of the reasons why we talk. Again, generally, sometimes there could be miscommunication. Sometimes it's matters of perception. You know, you could just withdraw on me, Willis, and then I do not understand why. Yeah. And it could have been something that I said, but I didn't mean it in the way that you have received it. So you will pick offense over something that I said. And from where I sat, I thought we were just having an easy talk. But what if you, you, you've had the conversation? And then after a long conversation, you just revert to the same old things. Now you again. have the right at that particular point yeah. to just cut it off, but at least the person knows. It's, it's the natural laws of justice. <laughs> At least let the person have it. <laughs> right. Uh, uh, <laughs> now, right. Here, uh, I think, what I'm going to do, if I come to tell you things about CJ, and when I'm going to tell you things about CJ, you see, if you can't, if the things you're talking to me you can't repeat. about CJ, always repeat CJ, if truly I am CJ's friend, it I should not gossip. listen. Right. Yeah. No, I should not, I should tell you, wait. Nipigia CJ Cheki, nikapa na Willis, kuna story yako wana nipatia. Ehe, endelea Willis.
akisikia mm. unaona that was a that, very effective thing my form boss alikuwa anafanya exactly ukikuja kumwambia boss rabura ananiharibia kazi eh ngoja rabura kuko ofisi hebu kuja <laughs> ndio hiyo eh hebu yes. sema hiyo kitu yeah. because if they can't repeat what they are telling you about me in front of me then yes, you're yes. gossiping me yes. and question is why are they comfortable to gossip me around you mm. why are they gossiping me with you why are they comfortable to do that if truly you are my friend mm. Unaelewa? And it goes the same goes for parents. You see ndo kustaki watu kwa wazazi wao. Ah. No sense you had something to say. So um the, the whole sense up, of sorry. friendship yes. For me I look at it like leaving someone better than you found them. You know, the reason as to why I'm telling you this is because you're going to form more relationships in your life. Don't do your friends the way you did me. You know, I'm telling you, hey, really, this is what you've done to me. I don't like it. Friends don't do each other like that. So you will know that the next relationship you're going to be in, you're going to treat that person better, you're going to behave better. I'm not telling you for me. If because you see, I don't believe in keeping friendship. Maybe that's a whole conversation you're going to need to have another day, but I'm telling you so that you become a better person so that in the, in future because it's just not right there's something also that dng said and it really slapped different about issues of family i think one day we're going to have a whole program about family backstabbing where where anyway i'm done <laughs> <laughs> all right well unfortunately that's uh, that's the time we had I'd like to say a big thank you to uh non cz dng shata cj and uh, unfortunately today i couldn't read all your comments but it was i hope that you've learned something about uh, friendship and being a friend. And uh, the fact of the matter is, to, no man is an island. You've heard it said, no man or no woman is an island, but you need some people around you. Just as we always say, yako, communicate if you can, uh, you know, talk it through. And like CJ said, do not condemn anybody unheard. But once they hear, now of course they could change. Uh, I'll end with something that Tyler Perry said, in this life there are roots and there are branches. So there are, notice that you only need about three or four roots for you to stand strong. But then there are some friends who are branches and they lie to you that, by the way, I'm the strongest branch. You can lean on me. Kidogo kismama tu hivi inafunjika. So be careful who you let into your inner circle. And I do hope that you'll have more uh, fruitful friendships going forward. Do not be afraid to communicate. Do not be afraid to confront. Lakini also, do not be afraid to cut it when it comes. Peace and love. <laughs>